It's time for you to stop going back and forth in your relationship with God. I'm not about to sugarcoat this. It's time for you to be transformed now. I'm going to tell you a verse. Listen to me. 1 John 2, 15. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. One foot in and one foot out ain't going to cut it anymore. I mean, it could cut you off from Christ, but it's not enough. One of the most terrifying things in the Bible, Jesus blazing the Lion of Judah, fire everywhere, tells the church this. Revelation 3, 15 and 16. I know your works. You are neither hot nor cold. Would that you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. At some point, you need to go higher in the things of God. At some point, repentance has to take place and you need to change. You know, Satan, he whispers in Eve's ear to distract and deceive her and her family. But yet some will tell you it ain't about that. It ain't about repentance. God is love. That's it. But I have to argue that the Bible says it's the goodness of God that leads us to repentance. Sexual sin can lead you to hell. Lying will lead you to hell. Hate and unforgiveness will lead you to hell. Wild partying will lead you directly to hell. Oh, no. And at some point, you have to turn around and seek the Lord Jesus. See, the gospel is cut and clear. Jesus died for your sins on the cross. He went into the grave three days. And on the third day, he rose from the grave with all power in his hands. And he gave us the power to overcome death and sin. Now you have to believe that message. You have to repent from your sins and turn to Jesus Christ. I'm gonna tell you a story in the Bible real quick. So sit down and listen. Acts 2, 37 through 41. Hear me out. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit for the promises for you and for your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other words, he bore witness and continued to exhort them saying, save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized and there were added that day about 3000 souls. God ain't playing games, man. It's time to get right with God. You see the earthquakes. We've seen pestilence. Our country was shut down in 2020. And now you see all these crazy laws. You see the stock market going crazy. People are getting laid off from their jobs. People are being killed for the gospel. We are in the last days, y'all. So turn to the Lord and get right with God.